What's up everybody, Funnel Doc here. And if you've always wondered how to be able to make it so you could switch from one language to another on your funnels, this is a video you don't want to miss out on. Some dude, Jeffrey M. Benek, he just um, got a quick funnel tattoo. <laughs> What? What's up everybody, we're inside my computer now and I just want to show you um, how to make it so you can switch back between English and Spanish inside your actual funnel. Now a funnel is just a simple website that's designed to either get you more leads or more sales. I recommend using ClickFunnels. If you haven't tried ClickFunnels before, there is a link down below where you get a 14 day free trial. And with that, let's jump into the demo. So what we have now is, as you can see here, this is all written out in Spanish right here. Um, it's not all the way through. I didn't go ahead and make the entire funnel into um, Spanish, but I went ahead and translated a couple here of the verses so that you get the gist. Now you'll see at the top, there's a button here I put it all the way to the side. You can make it a little bit smaller font or a text or change up the font if you want, but you want it to be uh, so it's noticeable. That's why I put it in outline in white here or the uh, outline button, but you don't want it so it stands out and it takes away from anything on the page. So if I wanted, to, if I noticed that I was in Spanish and I wanted to change to English, all I do is hit this button and you'll see now everything is written in English. And now the button says cambiar a espanol, which is change to Spanish. Um, and to change again, you just hit here and now it changes back and forth. It's really simple to achieve this. What you want to do is you're going to make one. It's a little bit more work, of course. You'll make one entire funnel that's in English, one entire funnel that's in Spanish. And on every page that's the opposite of the one that's in Spanish and one with English, you'll put a button on top. And here I'll jump into ClickFunnels so you can see what I did here. So all I did was I went ahead and did a row, made a row that's two column or a two column row. And um, in it, I reduced the top and bottom so that it take away from the image as much as possible or as least as possible. And then I just went in, made a button and then I changed the background color to white, went in and made the style flat line. That's what's going to get you from this one to where it's lined out. It's a, a line around. And then all I did is went down to the bottom here and then I changed it from center to far right. So that way you get it as right as possible um, on the actual page. Then inside the button itself, I just changed the button text to change to Spanish or change to English. And then in the action setting, I went in to go to website URL. I grabbed the other URL for the other page. So you can't do a split test. This has to be a, a whole different funnel, but the, um, the twin page of it in the other, um, other language, I just got that URL pasted right here. Make sure you open in the same window. That way it gives the illusion that you're switching it, that it's not going to a whole nother funnel. See this way you're allowing it to, to, to look like it's just going, oh wow, I just clicked the button, it just changed. What they don't know is they're actually being sent a whole different funnel with everything in Spanish or everything in English. I hope this helped you out. Um, I get this question a lot. It's a pretty simple fix, but I wanna make this video so you guys can see. There is a share link down below if you'd like to get this actual funnel so you could take it and copy off of it. Um, also, if you found this to be informative, please give me a like hit the subscription, let me know how much you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to comment below and let me know what type of videos you'd like to see and I'll be sure to make them for you in the future. With that, Funnel Doc out. All I did is went down to the bottom here and then I changed it from center to far right. So that way you get it as right as possible um, on the actual page. Then inside the button itself, I just changed the button text to change to Spanish or change to English. And then 